As you can see, we are all dressed up. Look at that, wearing a shirt and everything. That is because I'm actually going on an interview right now. Can't really say what the interview is about, but you will 100% figure that out later. I want to say one thing, it is really, really, really big. <laughs> so, Captain, new shoes I got though. Look at that. Not gonna lie, I've been wanting Yeezys for the past like three years, ever since like sneaker con. Because I remember I went to Sweden's sneaker con. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and, and check it out. It was actually a super good vibe. Hey man, also right now I'm over at one of my friends, so I figured I should probably go get some steps in for today. Probably gonna change this after the interview, obviously, because it's hot, it's hella summer right now. I figured why not just vlog the day, you know, or vlog a couple of days, bring you guys along. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Oscar Johansson, 24 years old, from Norway. So sit back and enjoy this vlog. Right guys, I don't think you understand how hot it is outside here in Norway right now. I definitely have the biggest sweat mark behind my back because I've been walking with the backpack as well. If you're walking with the backpack, you 100% know the struggle, but the interview went really, really, really well, uh, so I'm hoping for some good news. And if I do get some good news, I'm not gonna be able to share it with you guys yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to my friend's place, uh, change up, because I'm not gonna go ahead and wear a shirt all day, and then I'm gonna get a meal in. I had my breakfast. Guess one time what it is. It was some cottage cheese with some apple. <laughs> Listen up guys. I'm just sitting here and I'm sipping on some Pepsi Max uh, with lime And if you're a real OG you drink from the bottle <laughs> But my energy levels just got hammered after that meal a super high protein meal as well But I figured I'm just gonna chill so I'm not gonna say too much, but I'm working on the website Even though it's super nice weather outside I still have to stay inside and do some work, you know but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna work out later on. By the way, why, how can I be that rude? I'm staying over at my friend's, and let me tell you, do you see that painting right there? My friend is an artist, his name is Joseph, and look at that, look how sick that is. He makes so much more dope, dope art, but I'm doing legs today, and that means that I'm gonna deadlift. The deadlift socks, do you see that? I know for a fact you have missed this more than me. You see that? That's some Naruto socks, look at that. Ooh, look at that veiny though. So ever since the gym's open, I've tried to deadlift. And I'm not even gonna lie, I've been trying to do it kinda safe, but I know for a fact that I have lost a lot of strength uh, on my deadlift. But you wanna know what, we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna see how it feels today. Um, I have been super, super, super active this last couple of days. I've been walking a lot, uh, so we'll see how my legs feel. And I've also been running a lot, so anyways, we're actually just gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit legs right now. Okay guys, so we're at the gym right now. I'm just loading up the first plate uh, on the deadlift, but I'm not really fully sure how the deadlifts are going to be, because when I woke up, like, I'm not able to turn my head, like, fully extended, because, like, it fucked up some... Yeah, you probably had it before, like, I'm not able to kind of, like, fully turn my head around because my neck hurts. Blah, blah, you burn me. Caution, money. I've been scorn. I've been scorn. I've been scorn. Caution, money. I've been scorn. Cheap deals, burn me. Blah, blah, you burn me. Caution, money. I've been scorn. I've been scorn. I've been scorn. Caution, money. We'll hit four plays. I'm going to leave it at that because I don't have any belt at all. Uh, so I'm not gonna do any beltless deadlifts not because it's been so long since I've deadlifted that amount of weight uh, But I know for a fact I think I believe that I could probably pull 200 today My neck feels way better now because it's, it's warm. <laughs> We're gonna continue doing it the legs right now Okay guys, so I'm basically done with the workout right now I figured why not just skip the whole workout thing and not like watching because I basically did leg day and it was so packed so I couldn't like find any angles. Uh, I didn't record every, everything either so I, I started doing like calf raises and then I also did a Bulgarian split squats which I absolutely hate. You gotta do it right? <laughs> so I'm gonna go to the store right now and get a protein bar but I'll see you guys later on. Blah, 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 blah. I've been scoring. Cheap deals, me. Blah, blah, you me. Caution, warning. I've 
Well, good morning, guys. It is uh, currently the next day. I am home again, and I'm about to walk to the store, even though the, the weather here in Norway right now is absolutely awful. And this right here is what I mean with the weather here in Norway right now. Sheesh, I just went straight out of vampire. <laughs> it's super overcrowded, but it's like super hot at the same time. But I'm gonna walk to the store or maybe jog, we will see, because if I jog, I'm not gonna be able to bring this camera right here, because I'm obviously not gonna jog with a big ass camera. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna leave the camera right here, go for a jog, and I will see you guys later on, and talk a little bit more about the topic of this video right here. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, shit. Why are you so far away, Becca? Now, we are back from the run. Uh, I had to take a shower, uh, clean shave my beard. My brother always tries to convince me to, like, save my beard. Let me know in the comments, do you think that I should actually save beard? Or do you just think that I should go clean? I personally just like clean. So we're done uh, with the jog. I essentially jogged for five kilometers in 22 minutes and 11 seconds or something like that. And then I walked for another eight kilometers, like 13 kilometers, AKA 1.3 miles. Is it European miles or Norwegian miles? It took me about like two and a half hours or something like that. But that is what I do for cardio, you know? I just made myself some tea. And guys, this is a diet hack. Oh my God, it's such a diet hack. And it's so good as well. This is caramel vanilla. Got the sugar-free jello uh, with some sugar-free sauce. The jello in itself doesn't have any calories at all, or it has minimum calories. And the sugar-free jello doesn't have that much either. But this is also a super, super great diet hack. Look at that. It's absolutely amazing. If you have any diet hacks and you haven't shared them with me in the comments yet, what are you doing? Go ahead and comment down below your favorite diet hack. I'm gonna just pause the recording and absolutely inhale this <laughs> bought this essentially for the thumbnail but i'm 100 gonna eat it later on though <laughs> but guys essentially what this video is going to be about is that i figured why not give you guys some tips i've actually been getting a lot of questions from a lot of my friends actually as well and a lot of uh, questions on social media rather they can eat rather they can eat this rather they can eat that um and stuff like that so i just want to quickly address that balance guys it is so so important i'm gonna basically compare these two right here so this right here is a reese's bar or reese peanut butter cups and this right here is broccoli as just to break it down real quick a broccoli contains protein and carbohydrates this one right here contains protein carbohydrates and obviously fat because it's a uh, peanut butter inside so essentially it comes down to what you eat and your macros and your macros is basically protein, carbohydrates, and fat. So essentially a a, a, a Big Mac, right? Say so you have a Big Mac and you have a plate of uh, chicken and rice. The calories for chicken and rice can be exactly the same as a Big Mac. And the macronutrients can be exactly the same as well. So basically, essentially, as long as it fits your macros, you can eat it, right? But I would suggest that you stay in an 80-20% rule. That you eat 80% clean, which is mostly whole foods and 20% chocolate if that is what you are craving. So I don't like calling food bad or good. So like, I'm not saying that this one right here is unhealthy or healthy because I don't look at calories that way. I look at calories like, see protein and carbohydrates, right? That is how I look at calories. So a lot of people are like, oh my God, you can't eat the egg yolk. And then they go ahead and they eat a lot of avocado. And then I say, you know that avocado is 100% fat, right? But they say it's healthy fat. It does not different. One gram of fat is nine calories. That's why food higher in fat are more labeled as bad food. That is basically why a cheeseburger is a bad food because it contains way more fat than usual food. And a cheeseburger contains way more. That is why this one right here is considered healthy because it's more volume for the food as well. So essentially guys, what I'm trying to say is that you can still eat this and lose weight and you can eat this and lose weight. Like it doesn't really matter what you eat. In the end, it's calories in versus calories out. As long as you're in a caloric deficit, you are going to lose weight. So if you want to eat a Reese uh, from time to time, if you want to eat a Reese every single day, you can continue doing that as long as you stay in a caloric deficit. I literally bought this just for the thumbnail. This whole thing right here, for the thumbnail. But guys, that is essentially just what I wanted to say real quick. To be honest, it was kind of hard to just like kind of figure out what I was going to talk about in this video or this vlog because it was a little bit everywhere. 
but I got a lot of questions and I was like, you wanna know what? I'm just gonna make the video about that topic. Yeah, I'll say it again guys, the 80, 20% rule. And that is essentially what I follow as well. I probably eat some chocolate every single day if it's, uh, if it's Reese or if it's Oreo or if it's Nutella, I probably take a little bit of Nutella oats or whatever. Like literally I always eat something sweet because for me it's better to have something every single day than to just like fucking go full on binge for a full day, you know? So yeah guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and comment something you liked about the video or didn't like about the video, smash the thumbs up button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out!